changing state. Here is a diagram for one way a solid could be formed. The molecules are tightly bonded together and ordered. Imagine, for example, that this is the structure of a solid ice cube. If we add heat to the solid, it will melt. When the solid melts, the bonds between the molecules get weaker and spread apart, and this forms a liquid. Liquids can move to fill up any container space. If we continue to add heat to the liquid, then the molecules spread apart even further as the bonds weaken more. They form a gas. If we were heating water, this process would be called evaporation. The process can be reversed through cooling. When a gas is cooled, it turns back into a liquid, and the molecules begin to bond again. This is called condensation. If we cool the liquid even further, we can turn the liquid back into a solid object. This process is called freezing, and we can form the object into any shape we desire. So, we can change an object from a solid to a liquid to a gas and back again, changing the state of the object each time.